All right, five fans, friend to the room on the line, special guest. She's always special when she comes on. The quote herself, multi division champion, undisputed, two time Olympic gold medalist, Clarissa Shields. What's up, sis? Hey, y'all, what's going on? What's Not going much. on? Listen, we want to jump into some MMA boxing talk right away. Look, Francis Ngano, he just won. There's been talks about him uh, fighting Fury. You've done both. Uh, what, what, what's your take on, on that? Are you becoming more okay with MMA, well, UFC, uh, MMA fighters going into a boxing ring? You know what? I think it's easier for MMA fighters to come to boxing than it is for boxers to go to MMA for sure. Um, just from my own experience. But I'll say, uh, Ngannou in the ring with Tyson Fury, Ngannou has the power, but I mean, we, we all know that boxing is a sweet science and, uh, and Gano can punch and everything. I just don't know if he can throw those combinations and if he has the win for, you know, 12, three-minute rounds. Yeah. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, that, that's, that's pretty crazy. Um, not too many people could go from sport to sport and be successful. How do you think the MMA world received you after your first loss? You know what? Um, I don't really consider that fight a loss because, mm. you know, with the split decision loss and only nine months of training in MMA, actually the MMA world actually respected it they just was right. like you know a, a lot of people actually thought I won the fight and that was something that I was a little bothered by because I was like you know I didn't want to watch it at first but I went and watched it and I did feel like I like I did enough to win but um you know it's just different scoring it's MMA and I'm mm -hmm. brand new to it but the MMA world still respected it they were like we're just happy that you even came over that you even tried um they had complimented me on my um you know how I, how I had gotten better. Like I got taken down, but guess what? I got up. First right. fight, I was on my back majority of the fight, and still was able to come back and get a third round knockout. But the second fight, she took me down. I was able to get up, get back to the cage, get up again. Um, I was able to land some kicks, land some punches, yeah. and you know it was just a very strategic fight on her end. But I feel like as far as in like the actual fight, I feel like I I felt like I outfought her until the last round when she got the little ground and pound in the last minute of the third third round. Absolutely. So on February 5th, I mean, you must be happy to get back in that square circle in a boxing ring. Yeah, I'm happy to defend my titles. You know, I'm happy to be going to the UK to show the boxing world that no one has ever ran from Savannah Morrison, well, not Clarissa Shields anyway. And um, there's no other reason why I'm going to the UK. I'm going to the mm -hmm. UK to fight against Emma, uh, Emma Colson. She's mm -hmm. my mandatory. And then after this fight, Savannah Marshall. That's why I'm going to the UK. I'm going to fight her in her backyard. I'm going to beat her. Oh, and wow. just prove to the world once again that I am the greatest woman of all time. That's it. What if you run into Savannah in the UK? I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be, if you know, you're in her country, you're going to run into each other. What, what's the first thing you'll say to her? I mean, I don't really never say nothing to her. You know, hey, what up? You know, fighters who are scared of other fighters is when you see the commotion. I'm not intimidated by her. I've been face to face with her a lot of times. And it's always, she's always kind and always nice. And so am I. Um, she hasn't, she's been talking trash and she's been knocking out, you know, these little, these girls who are being her, her last minute replacements. But <laughs> whenever I see her, it's, it's, it's cordial. You know, I think she's trying to build herself up and, you know, steal some of my shine. But you know, once we get inside the ring, this whole this whole facade of her saying that she beat me in the amateurs and that she got she can beat me in the pros, it'll all be over. But she's doing a good job selling it right now. <laughs> okay. Do you think she's gonna walk into the ring after you win against Emma? Absolutely. Oh, you think she will? Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, you know what? And and I say that because she has to fight and um fight after me and then uh we fight each other next. Right. And that's what you know, it happens to all the big, you know, it happened to all the big fights, you know, with me and Christina Hammer. She got in the ring a couple times. Right. Um, it just, it just happened. So I believe that she will get in there. Now, what will she say? I don't know. What will I do? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just know <laughs> that um, I'm going to be happy about my victory. And um, I just give the energy that's given to me. That's it. I feel you on that. Now, now speaking of the UK, Clarissa, uh, we know how much you love AJ. Uh, most likely, he's going to be fighting Usyk again. Give me, give me this scenario. You're in AJ's corner right before the first bell rings, and you got 30 seconds to give him advice for this fight. What would you say to AJ? Against uh, against Usyk, Usyk the rematch. Yeah. 
my advice to AJ would be go in here and show him that you're the bigger man. Put your weight on him. Uh, fight him. Let make him feel feel your power. Like he can do all the boxing. You go out here and you show him that you're the bigger man. And any mistake he make, you're going to pop him. But you got to wear him down. You know, I don't know why in the first fight it was like he was trying to play a chess match with Usyk. And I think Usyk is very skilled. But mm -hmm. I think AJ could have won that fight if he just would have had the right game plan. Yeah, I agree. All right, I, I want to get your thoughts on something that Eddie Hearn said. Actually, a couple of people are saying this. Um, but Eddie Hearn said that Katie Taylor versus Amanda Serrano would be the biggest fight in women's boxing. What do you say? Sure. That's cool. <laughs> so you agree so with you, that? So hold on. So yeah, you, don't you, know, think, you don't think that you and Savannah is a bigger fight? You know what? I will say this. Amanda Serrano is a seven-time division world champion. Katie is undisputed two-time division world champion, Olympic gold medalist, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have Clarissa Shields, 12-time world champion, three-time division world champion, faster than any other boxer in history, two-time Olympic gold medalist versus two-time Olympian, one-time belt holder, Savannah Marshall. Mm -hmm. So if you look, that's how I look at it. Gotcha. And I also look at styles make fights. You know, um, everybody's being, you know, sold that Savannah Marshall was a knockout puncher, and she's not. I'm sorry, she's not. You know, congrats on her knockouts, but they were all, majority of them were last minute replacements and girls that were smaller coming up. Mm. She was supposed to be champion at 168 or 175. She comes all the way down to 160 after not fighting another champion at 75, 68, now she's at 60. And mm -hmm. she's still fighting girls who are coming up from 47 and 54 and their last minute replacements and she's knocking them out. So I respect Amanda Serrano and Katie for taking the big fights and actually building the big fights toward each other. I don't really respect what Savannah Marshall was doing. I don't, mm -hmm. like her last opponent was a three day replacement. The mm -hmm. opponent before that, seven day, you know, a, a seven day uh, notice, a last right. minute replacement. Right. Like every girl I fight got six to eight weeks to get ready for me. Wow, that's a good point. When it, when it When is it safe to say that you'll compete uh, in the PFL again, you know, back in the cage, if at all. First of all, I don't know why everybody keeps thinking I'm done with MMA. I have a three-year <laughs> contract with them. Oh, right. so exactly. I'll be fighting probably at the end of the year. And um, right after these boxing matches are done, I'm hoping, well, I know that I'll be back in Albuquerque. I'll be in Chicago. I'll be all over just getting my skills better because I really want to get good enough where I can be in the PFL season in 2023 and fight for the million dollars. That's the goal. That, mm. Like, that's the goal. I feel like, even though with the split decision loss, I feel like if I was to fight Abigail again, that I could win. Yes. I just have to fix a few a few different things. But I went through a lot that camp just building up to that fight. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that if I just fix those things that, you know, that went wrong in camp, and of course, learn more MMA, that I can beat a lot of those girls who are in the MMA, a PFL league. Well, first you got to oh. get uh, you know past this fight on the fifth. So we want to wish you good yep. luck on that. Um, can't wait to see you in the ring again. I appreciate thank the time. You. Thank you, guys. No, thank you, Clarissa.